Hi, this is Ed for my brother be camping and my wife has found another project for me. <laughs> but I'm for it too because it needs to be done. This fireplace has dark gray charcoal um, mortar. mortar. And uh, we want to lighten this space up. And it's a perfect um, fireplace for it because these are the, these are the grout lines are deep. Yeah, they're pretty deep. So what we'll do, we'll get a. Let me see if I can. Like a grout bag, like you icing the cake with, and we'll squeeze it into here. Mhm. Mm and then we'll pack it. And. Uh, We'll probably have to take a little bit off of the hearth because this is up pretty high, but we can take care of that. But see how it's how deep it is here? It's almost a half an inch. It is a half inch. I, so I got a roller gonna squeeze, out. We're going to squeeze it in there almost even. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll brighten everything up. It'll yeah. look nice. Um, we're going to use thin set because it has a little adhesive in it. That's for laying tile. Or putting tile on the wall or the ceiling. Mm -hmm. It's called thin set. I have three partial bags out in the garage we're going to use, so we're going to take care of that. Instead of throwing it away, we're going to put it on the fireplace. Yeah. And I don't want to paint or do anything with the the used brick look. I do like used brick look. It's just the the mortar lot, making it dark. It has a lot of white on it already, especially in this area. Mm -hmm. We'll smear and a little white on it. But. That, Ed built that mantle and I wanted it white trying to lighten it up. But I think that this will actually make the mantle blend in better too. It should really cause the brick yeah. to pop too. So we're, we'll see, we hope. Well, we hope. <laughs> we, we've watched some others do it and that had the dark mortar like that. and. Afterwards, it came out really nice, but this is the before. We'll keep you we have the, the lights on, and hopefully, this isn't a long project. Be too bad. Yeah. So we say we always say that mm -hmm. in the beginning. All right, stay tuned. So I guess he's going to work that section around the, the corners, first, around the corner first, harvest. all the way around. <laughs> He thinks he made his a little too thick yep. to start with. Maybe make the next batch, batch um, thinner, right? Mm -hmm. It'll have a better flow. But he's going to work all the way down. And then what are you going to do? Then I'll start at the top and go down. Yeah, just a section at a time. He will, oops, be back up here. So there's the beginning of it. I am now. <laughs> so here's how it's coming along. He's got a pretty good part of it done. Okay, there's one one tip I can tell you. Don't load your your bag up too heavy. It was hard to use. Yeah, it was hard to squeeze out. Um, so once it started emptying out, he had yeah, better once control. Once I got about halfway full <laughs> or empty, I had a lot better control. Yeah. But, uh, I just went over the whole thing with a wet, I let it dry about 15 minutes. Then I went over the whole thing with the sponge to try to get it even. It's primer. And now, what we're doing here is trying to wipe some of the excess film off of there. Film off. Yeah. Because we don't want it that white. We want some of the red brick to show. Yeah. But it is. It's it, not fun. It, it is. But it looks nice. But it, yeah, it's. That I think he started off, first of all, with two, uh, the bag being too, too full. full. So he, at that point, had to go with it. Uh, he may have had his thin set a little too thick. Yeah, I think it was a little too thick. And that was the number two, so uh, don't do... I had it kind of like peanut butter, but and I think you need it like 
a little, thick milkshake. A real maybe. thick milkshake. Yeah. The peanut butter was too thick. <laughs> it's a little harder to work with. Yes. As far as it setting up, don't try to work with it when it's still no, cause it, too it just wet and pliable because you'll just out. dig it out of there uh, if that tip helps you. So we're just cleaning this area up before he moves on because we want to get some of that film. I don't want to mix any more up. This yeah. is probably a bucket this a third but of a bucket. But ours is about a half inch deep grout line oh, in there. You can see it's, it. It's it's, it's pretty lot. thick. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can. Uh, it's it's got a pretty good groove on there, which is good because we wanted to be able. Yeah, we want it to stay in there. I had I watched one lady do, and hers she said hers was about a quarter inch deep, and. Uh, hers looked much easier. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to use but you know she did say you're gonna have to take your time and not to do a big section at yes. a time because you need to be able uh, to work it so we we st kind of started off uh, with a couple errors but he knows now and uh, it, it's gonna be I'm gonna I'm loving it if you can kind of see uh, the difference it brightens it up over there just was so dark with the charcoal black charcoal grout color that's not it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing in the world but I do like it lighter so back to work okay you made this a little fence. thinner and, and I'm not putting as much in because I got too much in last time and it went way over the top. It's easier to spread with it thinner though, huh? Yes. It's coming along. It comes out of the bag much better. <laughs> and he didn't put as much in the bag either. No. Smaller bag. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't make those mistakes because it did make it quite a chore for him. Uh, I mean, he quickly realized, like, oh, he said, I put too much in this bag and I made it too thick. So those problems now, yeah, because he's moving along a lot quicker. Uh, he makes these lines going uh, across here and then he'll come back and when he's done, he'll, you'll go all the way down, right? Yeah and then he'll fill in the other ones. So, just a little. No, I can, it, he's so high up, maybe when he gets, you know, down here, it'll be easier to film. All right. Okay, Ed's down on the floor, getting it all done. He's not liking the floor work. It's not my favorite place. <laughs> not good on his knees. He can't bend down on his knees. But uh, he's coming along. <sighs> so there's a little more work than I think we first thought that it's going to be worth it and then I think he's going to um, are you going to touch up the glass doors and the screen oh yeah I gotta readjust those too 
Yeah, and then we'll put those back on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lightly sand this mantle and repaint it. Let me see if I can pick this up right here where it bled through. We're gonna go ahead and put shellac on there and repaint so those shouldn't come back through because we did this before we learned about that little trick so you can see them. I think there's some over here so that ought to take care of that. But um, yeah, he's done with the grinding. He got that deep enough to put that on the hearth there and then it's just a matter of getting this mantle lightly sanded and repainted and the doors back on and whew, check it off the list. <laughs> yeah. But at least it's an inside job because it's getting warm out there. All right. That's the progress. Okay, he has this already. You're just going to spray it, right? Do a refresh on it. It used to be shiny brass. brass. <laughs> we have painted it before, but uh, since we have it all off, we figured we'd just give it a little... It has slightly sanded it. A little refresh. <laughs> and then those... Um, what is it called? The little gate thing, the um, screen. screen yeah. yeah. Under there. He's worked on it a little bit because it was getting kind of hard to, hard to pull open it. and close, but it's what he's doing well, now. I thought, <laughs> but I got a couple of tips for you on your giant cake frosting bag. <laughs> if you got to cut the tip as wide as the opening. So when you're, when you're packing it full, it's going to run out. So what I did, I just folded it up and I put a little paper clip. clip on it, clothes pin, whatever you got to keep it like this. Because when you're, when you're loading it, it wants to go out the bottom because the hole's wider than usual. So that's one tip. Another tip is, Try to get as least on your brick as possible because when you're wiping it off, you will wipe the... On, on, the, on the bricks? Yeah, you'd wipe the thin set mortar off. I use thin set mortar. Um, it dries really hard. And uh, you need a consistency of a thick batter, like a real thick uh, pancake batter and uh, anyway this is the the end product here yeah. and I did take this off and clean it all up and repainted, and it. repainted it the mantle is drying and Debbie painted the mantle we, she sanded that all off and painted it I built this a few years ago um, yeah. But it turned out really nice. It really, because all of this inside here was, was almost black. It was charcoal. Yeah, and it has black on the bricks. That's a little you used. You can see. These are used bricks. So but I like it with this, the colors pulling from the door. Now this white is not, this white was on the brick. Yeah. It's some kind of paint because it's used for Another thing, when you get your, if you do this and you get your thin set mortar, uh, when it goes on, it, will, it won't look real yeah, white. It looks but, a little bit gray. Yeah, after a few days, it just keeps lightening up and lightening up. Yeah, so when it dries, it lightens <laughs> up. Don't let that freak you out. Uh, another tip is do this while you're younger. Yes. <laughs> That's what Ed said. This wasn't too bad. <laughs> but those closer to the floor I got, the worse it got. <laughs> My knees don't bend anymore, so I have to sit down to work. It's not. All right. It's not good. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to style it when it dries, and then we'll come back and show you. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put some before pictures too. is we sealed the bottom part and the hearth uh, because of the uh, the ashes from this. The, yeah, we didn't want to get it turning yeah. black. It's easier to, to wipe off. I sealed the whole, the brick and, and the uh, grout, so. This is just the technique we use um, to make our slider. You could probably make yours darker if you would, you know, like. Um, but it was, it came out really nice. I like it, it brightened up this corner um, that is, cause it's so big. And uh, I don't know why we waited for years to do it. I just didn't think about it uh, until recently. And we went for it, so Ed did a good job. I didn't do too much of it. I tried to help where I can, but it's kind of a uh, one man job, I guess. Anyway, we want to thank you for stopping by and, and taking a look, and I hope this gives you some ideas and helps you out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Ed, I'd rather be camping. <laughs> Ed and Debbie would I'd rather be And camping. I would. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.